off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Okay, yeah Hey, guess what? Yes, we got a surgery date. December. <laughs> they actually moved other patients around. Oh, I've got everything on the calendar. They, you know, I asked Abby, I was like, that that means missing more before, you know, before break. But she said she doesn't even have finals for her college courses, which are the week after, like, it's like days after surgery. Um, but she's like, I don't even have finals for those classes. Yeah. So she's like, I'm fine, because she was actually just here at Target. I just ran into her, she actually scared me. And so I was actually able to text her while I was on the call with the scheduler and just make sure that it was okay with her, she was good with it. But I've scheduled the consult appointment, the CT scans, she has to meet with the anesthesiologist, she has to do um, a COVID test. People will call me like two days before surgery date. I've scheduled her post-ops, everything. Yeah, it feels good. Gotta call and get the ortho to get the wire on in time, so that's my next call. All right, and I thought of what I'm gonna be for Halloween, a Stanley Cup, the water bottle. Anyway, I gotta go find that, so. All right, love you, bye. I'll talk to you guys in the car. All right, you heard it. We finally have a surgery date scheduled for Abby. I've been on the phone with the orthodontist, with my dad, with my Jason's dad. Um, just wrote a big long text message to my family to let them know. And I don't wanna have this conversation at home. Abby is at home, she's home from school. I ironically ran into Abby at Target mere minutes before the hospital called me to schedule this surgery. Uh, she had stopped on, in, on her way home from school and I said hi to her and then she went home and um, probably five minutes later, I got the call. So luckily while I was on the call with um, the hospital, I was able to text her, confirm with her that the date works because um, I could see on the calendar that she had some finals for her college courses. Um, after the surgery date and so she's like nope I don't have finals the courses that I'm taking don't have finals this semester so I don't have to worry about that I'll be done with all my work well before that surgery date obviously I'm not going to give the surgery date specifically um, just for safety purposes um, and for privacy um, but we will take you along that journey for sure you've been along if you've been here you've been along this journey with us and with Abby, um, even if she doesn't like to be on camera a lot, I've shared the journey that she has been on. And it just gives me such hope. <sighs> it's an emotional thing for me as a mom because literally we have not been able to help solve this pain. This surgery is the only thing that will solve the pain in her jaw. She's had a cold for the past two weeks and has had mucus down in her lungs and she's been trying to cough it up and she says the pain trying to cough has aggravated her jaw so much that she now can't open her jaw before it was hard to bite down on anything that's why she eats a lot of pasta and yogurt and <laughs> soft food but now she can't open it she's like it's like a hinge that isn't oiled it just doesn't want to open. It's so swollen. Um, every little thing affects your, you know, your body when you have this kind of jaw pain. She now has neck tension, which is radiating pain down her whole back. Um, Jason massages her back at least three or four times a week. Um, she lays on hot pads at night. She stays home all day unless she's at school just because she's constantly in pain. And a lot of it is from this jaw. And it, it isn't, hasn't been diagnosed. Um, and the doctor can't officially tell her that this jaw surgery will 
alleviate all those things, but we're all very hopeful. We're all very hopeful that this will like literally solve so much. If anything, just the pain in her face. We're just, <laughs> I, I called her after I made all these appointments and scheduling and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, like, I feel like we should celebrate, but like, it's such a hard surgery that like, should we celebrate something that's going to absolutely like be heart wrenchingly hard for you to go through? And she's like, I don't know. Can I think about it? <laughs> so I actually did get her a few treats from Target just to surprise her with when I get home. Nothing fancy. She likes um, salted caramel chocolates from Target. So I got her some of those and her favorite goldfish. But um, we're just very, very excited. We were able to, we have a very long day. Um, coming up here in a few weeks um, because we have to go in and we have to get an, uh, she has to get a CT scan then we have to wait a little bit like an hour or so um, we'll just get breakfast at the hospital so that the doctor can then read that CT scan um, results and then and get that into his computer system because then we go in and meet with him to do the consult and design her face um, and what he wants you know what Abby wants done based on where that jaw needs to be replaced and then we meet with her cranial specialist her pediatric cranial specialist anesthesiologist try and try and say that one twice <laughs> that her surgeon has decided to have this specialist um, be in charge of her Medicaid her pain meds um, just because we have discovered that she metabolizes pain meds at such a high rate there's no there's no chance of us being able to overlap um, pain meds say taking ibuprofen and aspirin um, there's no overlapping that because she metabolizes it too fast to know um, there's there's no way to do that so she needs to stay in the hospital for up to three days if not longer so that they can monitor her pain management um, medically through her an IV um, and keep that into her system round the clock so she's not in any pain along with getting a nerve block um, during surgery which is what the specialist will do so it's a lot um, but we're very excited I even called the orthodontist and told them surgery is scheduled and <laughs> the surgery the scheduler she was like oh my gosh you got it you got a date She's like, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Kids take forever to get an appointment, get the surgery scheduled. Like we have kids that have been waiting for years. And I said, I know we've been waiting for three years to have this surgery. And she's like, I can't even tell you how happy I am for Abby. She's so cute. She's like, oh my gosh, you guys have been on such a journey. I'm so excited. Um, uh, but we have to schedule her in a few weeks. Oh no, actually it's just days before the surgery. She has a special wire put into her braces that has hooks on it to actually wire her shut after the surgery. Um, and so that is scheduled and then she will do like a COVID test days before likely um, through a virtual nurse appointment. Um, so I've got all of that scheduled. We're all lined up finally and it's it's a little surreal it feels weird to celebrate something that's going to be so difficult for her but at the same time it's solving so much it's just it's so exciting to like be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel for your kid and i'm kind of glad that she'll be in the hospital and that we can like manage the pain and the you guys this surgery my brother was able to tell me about some of his recovery. He's had the surgery is genetic. For those of you who are new, this is a genetic disorder. Her jaw did not grow in the right place. It's not in the right location. She cannot bite down on foods. Her jaw, her teeth do not connect, especially in the back. It is required. This is medically required to have this surgery and usually you wait till you're done growing, but her, her bones are growing in the direction of growth um, the, the jaw will go in and so that's why we can do the surgery now versus when she's an adult uh, My brother's had it my my niece has had it and my dad has had it And we'll find out in the next couple of years if the other girls um, will end up with it as well Just don't know yet, but the recovery from this is just 
awful and it, it's he he got sick he got dizzy when he woke up from the anesthesia and they made him get up to go to the bathroom which made him nauseous and if you can imagine throwing up with your mouth wired shut I'm just gonna be really glad she's in the hospital so that I can have help and they can help know what to do to make things better for her and get her comfortable and and keep her out of pain so anyway I'm this is a lot for this video I don't this is a really long little rant I don't know what else I'm gonna add to this except for Jason's reaction to it um, we're just very happy it's a very strange thing to be happy about don't want your kid to go into surgery but it's such a good thing 